stand now close to the place where Admiral Lord Keyes has been laid to rest. He planned and led that daring raid on Jupiter on this St. George's Day, 1918, and where the graves lie of many of the brave and gallant men who on that day gave their lives for their country and for freedom. This year we also remember the 75th anniversary of Operation Dynamo and the 70th anniversary of Victory <coughs> in Europe Day. We give thanks for the ultimate sacrifice given by those who fell in both world wars. <laughs> They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. <coughs> At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. At midnight on St George's Day 1918, the British Royal Navy <coughs> and Royal Marines carried out the most audacious raid of war to deny the enemy the use of the submarine pens, the Royal Marines and Blue Jackets stormed the Demola at Zeebrugge. Placing fierce fire at point-blank range from a well-fortified enemy, they fought their way ashore, showing great courage, extreme bravery and true British spirit. Those brave men continued to engage the enemy whilst their colleagues rammed ships into the entrance of the canal, effectively blocking them for the remainder of the war. <coughs> Against all odds, their action was a success, but at the cost of many lives. <coughs> it covered the Royal Navy with a renewed glory, and eight Victoria Crosses were awarded in an action which lasted little over one hour. That night, the British showed to the world how they could fight and die for the freedom of Belgium and of <coughs> Europe. We remember before God and commend to his people the memories of all the sailors and marines who gave their lives <coughs> for their country on the 23rd of April 1918. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, hear our prayers and thanksgivings for those whom we remember today who made the supreme sacrifice in time of war. We pray that the offering of their lives may not have been in vain. By your grace, enable us to rededicate ourselves anew to the cause of justice, freedom and peace. And give us the wisdom and strength to build a better world for the honour of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The right worshipful, worshipful, the town mayor of Dover, Councillor Miss Pamela Navarro, <coughs> the chairman of Dover District Council, Councillor Miss Sue Nichols. General representation of the government of Flanders, Mr. Lucas Van Dam, and Commandant <coughs> de Monza. Representing the College of the Burgomaster, Alderman of the City of Bruges, Alderman Mrs. Martin Mathias.
On behalf of the officers of the dignitary and town council staff, Judge Patience QC, and on behalf of the Honorary Freeman of Dover, Mr T Sutton, Mr R McCarthy and Mr G Tuttle. Dover Society and the Royal Society of St George. Remember those who made the great sacrifice during two world wars. We remember those who have given their lives in the service of their country in other conflicts. We pray for those who suffer at this time. We pray for those who have been bereaved. We pray for peace. And we pray that we may be worthy of the sacrifice made on our behalf through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Worshipful Barrett Dover, Pam Rivaro. Father's presence to give thanks for those who have given their lives in a time of war. And especially today, on this 97th anniversary, for those members of the Dover Patrol who so heroically and bravely fought and died for their country, and for the free Belgium and Europe on this St George's Day in 1918. And three and a half left for all. And each shall not do it yet for the years of death. And the going out of the sun and in the morning, we will come back. Right! 